What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are on the taxi right now with Charlotte and Arnaud over here. Hello. 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 We're gonna go to the city of Nadine. So the first thing that we have to do clearly is to go to the Western bus station, get a mashruka or a shared taxi or anything that drive us there. And it's gonna be around five hours, something like that. Five, five and a half. Two, three breaks. Two, three breaks. Yeah, this is toward the south of Kyrgyzstan. Alright, we just made it. Let's see how hustling is today to go to Narin over here. It's quite crowded, a lot of people making noises right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Some days that like I feel very stressed with the hassle, there are some days like today. I kinda like it. When you come to the bus station, you just need to gently jump right away into the queue and not let people go over through because like it doesn't matter if you just like put the hand in and get the ticket before you because we don't speak the language. Yay! Might, might we get a seat? All right, let's go fast so we can get a seat before go, 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 shit. Go, go, go. All right. Fetch yourself a seat. Fetch yourself a seat. <laughs> All right, we just made it. Probably just need to wait until the bus gets full so we can leave soon at in. But so far, the experience has been like less hustling than what I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Although, I don't know, I it is, uh, this looks like <laughs> I'm so excited to go south. Uh, the farthest that I went in the middle was some cool only. Uh, so it's actually quite nice to go to Nadine and explore a little bit of the south southern region. So, let's wait for the bus to get cool. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 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 right, halfway through. Usually on these trips you have a 30 minutes stop. This one is probably the fanciest that I've had so far. It is so good. The selection of things to eat. While normally you just have like plop. And then something will happen and you will say, oh that was really delicious, but now I'm in the toilet and I'm puking everything. <laughs> Surprising, this is the first time that there's no vomits on the bus, no flat tires, no nothing happening. A few weeks ago, there was some uh, floods, some landslides. But Nadine is not like a huge city, as you can see right here, it's quite long. So, from the bus stop to the guest house that we are going, it's around 20 minutes walk, which is not the most fun with uh, 20 kilos on my backpack. But this one, no complaints, we made it. We made it safe and sound. Wow, the weather is so dry, but I have to say that it still is a little bit better than Bishkek. <laughs> We're about to die there, it was very, very, very hot. So we made it to our guest house, and this is very cozy. I love when people actually take care a little bit. I know this is a little bit more difficult now because the weather is a little bit iffy, but I love when people has all the gardens full with colors and full of things. And this is beautiful. 
I think it's not the most touristic area here in uh, Kyrgyzstan. I mean, Narin region really is, but mostly because of some cool. But Narin city has a couple of things that I'm very interested to do and not too many people come here. So, so far they have two dorms with 10 beds in total. And the only person sleeping in that room is Ruben. So hopefully no other mother comes here tonight. All right, Ahnul and I, we are gonna go to the bazaar. I'm gonna try to get some groceries and some things for tomorrow. I am heading hiking and they're gonna take one day to relax, but we still need to make a few, a few shoppings. <laughs> yep. oh, what a nice bazaar. Um, Honestly, it's so much better now that we have the cloud. There's no, 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 no sun. It's so enjoyable to walk here. And this is much nicer than many other ones. It's very open, very calm down. Yeah, it's quite nice. And during the day, it's very dense, a lot of people everywhere. It's very typical, very authentic. It's cozy. Oh, there's a bike store there. Yeah. Oh, look at the hats. I love these traditional hats. But white really like the worst color. So windy. All right, guys, as you can see, almost in every bazaar, you find good clothing selections. Oh, this was just very girly. So you have the hats. But this was the clothing seem all right modern, eh? Like, I think when I was in Osh, everything felt a little bit outdated. While in here, here most of the clothes are kind of fashionable, even, you know, like uh, tiny suits. Not tiny suits. Oh, and, and that's amazing. I love these ones. I think men, huh? Super heavy. That's so badass. Oh, I would look amazing with that. Want to try? Can I film you? Yeah, I want to try that. <laughs> A little. No, I think you wear it like the, you should, like too big. <laughs> like they do. Perfect for the hike tomorrow. Not, not too hot. Oh. You do, do I look like a you look good in shape, like. Wow. <laughs> you look like this. Wow. No, but it looks comfortable, no? Really? I mean, it looks heavy. It is very com comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's kind of cool to be out again, because I felt like in Bishkek I was already getting a little bit uh, bored of big cities, and I wanted to have again the feeling of being on a small a small city with local people <laughs> always like the experience is a little bit more genuine wow this is some real how many kilos? 70 7 kilos we're getting 7 kilos of watermelon for 115 so which is 1 euro 30 one euro. wow plum 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 Oh, I think I'm allergic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to go to the hospital. I already went to the hospital last week. Really? Are you allergic? I think so. I will try. Uh, let me see. But Honestly, my... this bag of plums, it costs just 50 some. Which is basically... I don't even want to think about it. Track one. Which is basically... What? 50 cents? Uh, 60 cents? 60 euros? 60 cents? 60 cents. So we made a monster shopping fruit, water, that crazy watermelon, and some things to have dinner tonight. And we probably spent together maximum 80 euros. I believe, right? Maybe less. Huh? Maybe less. Less, less. Much less. This is fantastic, guys. All right, we just made it home and I am in uh, Pico because there is no internet whatsoever so I can't edit videos and I can't do anything. I cannot charge my phone, I cannot charge the drone, I cannot charge the camera, I cannot charge the... <laughs> so, so I have a feeling that today I'm not posting the video. So yeah, 
with no internet is fine because I can try to look for a way with the phone but like with no electricity yeah only good thing about we not having the electricity is like the way that we have to hit the water it's a little bit rustic and I think it's beautiful look at this The water is very grey brownish, so it needs to be boiled in 5 to 10 ah, minutes. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Don't burn my camera, please. How does it work? Time to remove the stove. So, Ruben, yeah. Oh, uh, no. Ruben, who is really good with his fingers. Yeah, yeah, I'm a real and man. And still, yeah, <laughs> it's good to try. Oh, yeah, hey. that's a good stuff. Not bad. Yeah. Now you need to do. That. <laughs> Is it in a passion? Is to be fair, like the last time I grabbed an axe, I broke it. <laughs> Come on, Ruben. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow, Ruben, you're amazing. Come on, Ruben. Don't rub it. Whoa. Oh. Alright, you can hear it boiling already. Well, nothing like a good fruit after a hard day of work, guys. Do, do you mean the laundry? <laughs> I just got one wood, one piece of wood. <coughs> so can can I ask you what what is she doing? So, uh, uh, she's uh, for salad for yogurt. Oh, so you, you pack this to keep the vegetables fresh. Wow! Nurdin, Nurdin. Okay, so if I want to do the chai properly. Uh, our friend told us that I need to tidy up my hair, mm -hmm. right? And then I need to have a special uh, dress, right? A special costume, which I don't obviously... Costume. 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 I bawled my eyes out. I was so happy. You saw it. Yeah, yeah. If I want to serve the chai, you need to wear this. Serve the chai? Mm -hmm. I'm sure it makes me have sick person. I'm already sick. Look at so this, so beautiful. Now, fetch me a tea. <laughs> <laughs> Stop with these fetch words. <laughs> ah, Can I take your water? Like Robin Hood. Opa! That's what I'm talking about. Look at you. What a, what a gentleman! Like, uh, <laughs> now fetch me a horse. <laughs> Thank you for providing a beverage to this humble peasant. Let's uh, Turkmenistan because for now it's closed. Maybe we will open and then we will try uh, Iran too and then uh, Azerbaijan. Many people ask on the videos for me to do a little bit more things with the local people. Off you go. La la, look at the beautiful years. The guys who went, Rahmat, they were sleeping. Yeah, I'm like. So this is <laughs> it's a very spontaneous. Ah uh, no, I think today we're good. I think we decided the, the wrong day to actually cook at home and not eat outside. <laughs> but at least it's healthy. Come Yay, on. healthy. Olive food. oil, garlic, everything the Spanish dude likes. So it's Back to regular life. <laughs> charge your you phone, can. charge your phone, hey. charge your phone. Three cities back, let's go. All right, time to charge everything. Time to charge the phone, time to charge the drone, time to charge my life, time to charge everything. <laughs> Oh, this is great! <sighs> this is so exciting! Uh, 
I'm not gonna say it on the video, I'm just gonna let you guess guys with this level of presentation in the quality of the food. You have here some nuts done by Ruben, my only, <laughs> my, the only thing that I'm <laughs> supporting here. You have the rice with a little bit of dill, you have some vegetables, uh, you have some smoked cheese and some sardines. So I'm gonna let you guess which country do you think Arnold and Charlotte are from. <laughs> Good presentation of the food. They definitely know what they do. Try to guess. Well, probably everyone in Kyrgyzstan knows about this that is happening in here. But for the people from outside, it's something that it's probably very difficult that you even know that this is happening. At the moment in Kyrgyzstan, there is one race that is called the Silk Road Race, in which basically consists of bikers trying to do in 15 days 1,800 kilometers almost 30,000 meters in elevation between all the mountains. In the area that we are right now, some of the bikers are spending the night, basically stay here, sleep five, six hours, get some energy and continue going. We are halfway through, and it's actually really crazy what they are doing. So we have over here on the living room some of the monsters that are doing this. Started throwing like Guys, big rocks, like that size. These two crazy, I don't even know, like, I don't even know a word that doesn't go beyond after <laughs> that. These people is the actual superheroes here. It, it's ridiculous. How many kilometers have you done today? 160 almost. You know what cycling is? <laughs> you know what cycling is? Cycling is just only an expensive way enough. of behaving like a child. <laughs> <laughs> 10 meters away. These guys are the true warriors of the country. This is unbelievable. So we're gonna leave the video here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you tomorrow.